Welcome back to the Force 9 YouTube channel. Welcome back to Football Manager 2018 and the Liverpool save. And in today's video, uh, we will have a double header for you today. I was going to do one before, but I decided to split it up. But today, uh, two games are guaranteed. Inter Milan in the second leg of our Champions League last 16 tie. We need 5 2, so that shouldn't be a problem. And then following on on that, we have our FA Cup sixth round tie against Manchester City when that will be in the semi finals. If you're enjoying the videos, make sure you drop a like down below, leave comments, and if you want to see videos as and when they turn up on YouTube, do hit that subscribe button. So, a bit of a bumper one today. We do have to go through some games that we played off screen. I only played three. Uh, now, last time, of course, in that cup final, we uh, had a few. Injury problems, uh, both our centre-backs were missing and Belotti's been out for a couple of weeks, he has since returned. In that game as well though, we lost Chamberlain, Mane and Salah all to Knox. So uh, it's been really tough and even off-screen, there's been even more injuries. And we start with the 3-0 uh, win away against Leicester, a team that we've just beaten in the semi-finals and immediately I think your attention will be drawn to the fact that Jack Butland went off injured on the hour. And I don't put goalkeepers on the bench. It forced me to play James Milner in goal, which uh, I didn't want to do. I couldn't decide who I wanted to put in goal. I didn't have a lot of defenders anyway, so I didn't want to put a defender in goal. So I went with Milner. And then, uh, 77 minutes, Jordan Henderson got injured. So uh, the guy that I would have replaced him with, Milner, was already in goal. So, uh, yeah, that was this was just a messy game. We did win 3-0, though. We did all the work in the first half, scoring all three goals. But two injuries in the second half really hurt us. Uh, the first goal came on 18 minutes. Fantastic game for Ox. He got the first goal on 18 minutes. Christian Pulisic found the net in the 26th minute. He's uh, looking like a good signing from Dortmund. Uh, popped up with a couple of goals already so far. And then Ox scored our third and his second on 44 minutes. So all the work done in the first half, but unfortunately second half, uh, we had a couple of injuries. That did mean we had to um, go back to Simon Mignolet in goal. And our next game was uh, also a 3-0 win, this time against Southampton. Took a while to get going, though. And, uh, you know, we probably could have scored a lot more goals given that Southampton played most of the game with only 10 men. Jordi Classy got a straight red card on 16 minutes. But we didn't get our first goal until 58 minutes when uh, Roberto Firmino converted a penalty. No Belotti in the team, of course. So uh, Firmino had penalty duties. We made it 2-0 on 70 minutes, Pulisic getting the net again, twice in a row he scores a goal. And then we made it 3-0 on 82 minutes, Firmino with his second of the game. Good game for Firmino, um, he's kind of overtaken Asensio for that cam spot since he came back from injury, of course. He missed about five or six weeks with a broken toe. Now he's come back in and we promised him he'd still be in the team when he comes back. So we're kind of adhering to that promise and he's happy with his football, so that's good. The final game off screen was another win against Wolverhampton. It was very close though, 2-1 win this time. Belotti came back in this game and he just continued where he left off with his goals, scoring on the 26th minute to uh, break the deadlock. Just three minutes later though, Wolverhampton did equalise through uh, Pedro Rodriguez. And then just a few minutes later, uh, we retook the lead, Belotti converting a penalty to uh, make it 2-1. That is how it ended we did finish the game with 10 men, however, as Andy Robertson received a second yellow card on 84 minutes, the first card coming uh, at the early start, early stages of the second half. Robertson uh, going to be suspended. Uh, I don't know if it will be for the FA Cup. It might be for the Cup or it might be the next league game. I don't know. But um, yeah, that could be a bit of an issue. We won all three games on screen. We've won 10 games in a row. Uh, we haven't lost in the league since losing to Arsenal in January, so uh, we're looking really good. Just to show you the league table, we're 13 points clear with eight games left. So uh, it's going, you know, very, very well. Belotti now has 43 goals in all competitions, which is, again, just absolutely crazy. We are in debt now. You know, we're paying quite a lot of money and we've got some big players that are on big wages. So we are actually just about creeping into debt, £297,000, but that's not too disappointing for me but anyway let's get into the Champions League game then now of course we lead 5-2 from the first leg so uh, there's no hopefully no danger of us going out we should win this fairly comfortably of course Champions League means that we can't play Asensio because he's ineligible already played in the competition for Real Madrid Sadio Mane has returned from injury uh, so we're close to a clean bill of health Henderson is still out though uh, he's going to be out for well uh, weak in a bit, I guess, with the ankle ligaments. However, the big injury, Daniel Sturridge's Liverpool career is over. Uh, he suffered a cruciate injury. 
going to be out for five to eight months and his contract expires in June. So Daniel Sturridge's Liverpool career is over and he had to end it with one, one more injury, didn't he? And it's a big injury as well. That's Daniel Sturridge for you. So for this uh, match then, uh, we have Mane back. Uh, we are going to just get rid of Harry Wilson. You know, Mane is much, much better player than Wilson is. We're going to put Ben Slib onto the bench. That's what he's, We signed him. He can play in the Champions League. He's homegrown. So you know, that's part of the re reason we signed him. He's only played two games for us, though. So he can't be happy with his playing time. Team's in really good form. Don't really see a need to change this at all. So we're not going to. We're on control and fluid. Hitting early crosses. Clearing the ball to the flanks. I'm just going to take off. Be more expressive. That's it. Submit the team. And this should be nice and routine, but we'll see what happens. Uh, I don't know if the inter-squad will differ from the first leg. It doesn't look any different to me. I like the team talk of saying that this is a brand new match. So, you know, don't go out and lose 3-0. Otherwise, uh, that actually, will that be enough? That won't be enough, will it? Because we've got five away goals. So, you know, it's got to be four. They've got to win by four or win 6-3. So, you know, we should have no problems here. I'll cancel this because we've got an early highlight here. Six minutes in. Andy Robertson with a cross. Oxlade Chamberlain. Oh, Henderson stretched and managed to get to it. That was a very good save, actually. Playing at home. Going to go a little bit wider. Uh, just going to look for the overlap and try and work the ball into the box. Good tackle there by Luan and it's cleared forward. And now Florin Andone on the ball. He's got Kandreva. And he's found Raul Garcia here who has a shot and it's uh, straight at Mignolet. Decent stop for the goalkeeper there. It's a tight game at the moment. We've got lots of possession, but a um, couple of chances for either side here. No goals yet. I think by this time we were 4-0 up in the first leg almost. Only one shot on target out of seven. And we've got another goal kick by Inter here. Matip heads it forwards. Garcia to Candreva. And now Gagliardini. Vecino. Now Andone, and a great tackle there in Gomez. Now to Chamberlain. Here's Firmino. Milner to Bellotti. Bellotti's playing a very deep role here. Like He's supposed to be leading the line, but he's gone all the way himself here. Like He's still going, and he's hit the post. How did he do that? I mean, the amount of goals that we've seen like off screen, you saw them, that were scored from incredibly tight angles is mad. Milner's got an effort here. Another goal kick. Our, you know, our efforts today have been speculative. Only... Well, two shots on target now out of ten. Got to say, I'm a bit disappointed with how we've been doing so far. We've got all the possession. Ten shots, but they've just not been very good efforts. Try and win this second leg, because we want to be in good form going into the City game. We've won ten in a row. Let's try and make it eleven. And uh, we've got Robertson on the action here. Can he find a cross here? Yes, he can. It's uh, cleared by Skriniar, though. It's still in play. Now it's uh, the end of the highlight. I think we need to change something here. They've made a change. Contogbia's on. I think we're going to take off Pulisic. So we're going to bring on Mohamed Salah. Uh, Belotti will leave out there for now, but he's not done great. Uh, Firmino, let's, let's play Firmino as a shadow striker. Let's try something different with uh, Firmino. He's played up front in a couple of instances off screen. Played like two up top and he's played like as a deep line forward. But I say here, it's like not working especially well. Hopefully Salah can create something. We're going to go attacking. Because I'm really disappointed. Like we haven't, Well, that, we've just had a shot. First shot of the half. Going to make put Firmino up alongside Bolotti. And I'm going to bring on Naby Keita for Milner. I don't know who that will make captain. It doesn't really matter. But, you know, we've had so many captains this like save. It's been mad. Because when Henderson and Milner haven't played, it's gone to anyone. It's gone to Lovren at times. Coutinho. Uh, Min Mignolet maybe. Right, Bolotti's picked up a knock. Uh well, I made all three changes, which is annoying, but we're, we're going to bring on Origi. I don't want to miss Bellotti again. He's just come back from an injury. So Origi's going to go up top. There's going to be a goalless draw, I think, here. There's only 10 minutes left. I'm going to go get creative with the shout, and hopefully we can create something here. Origi, Roberto Firmino. Can he put it across goal? Oh, it's... Oh, it's... How is how has it not got in? How did that not go in? Like, there was an absolute mess at the back there. Origi's now offside. But I don't know how that didn't get in the net then. Ten minutes left. Into with a free kick here. Luan taking it. Here's Dalbert. Now losing 1-0. We'd still be through. But it's been a really rough game. But we just haven't found our way through. Like we've been really poor with our shots at the moment. Kaita with a free kick. It's headed away. 
Still got a few minutes left to try and get a goal here, but it's not often you see nil-nil draws in this uh, with this team. We had one with a... Uh... Oh, we have got a goal! I was going to say, we have one against Brentford in the Cup. Firmino does get his 10th of the season, and we do have a 1-0 lead. That's now 6-2 on aggregate. At least we've won the second leg, unless Inter come back. But uh, Andy Robertson, he's got a fantastic ball on him. But Wijnaldum to Salah. Salah the substitute with the cross. Firmino with a great header and into the net. 1-0. It took a while, but finally we have a lead in the game. And that's a full-time whistle. 1-0 on the night, 6-2 on aggregate. Uh, it took a while. We've got a win, so that's all right. Uh, good win, boys. Well done, I'm going to say. So, um, you know, 11 wins in a row now. Uh, if we can beat City, it'll be 12 in a row and it'll be an FA Cup semi-final after that. Uh, we do have an international break, so uh, hopefully we can get some of our fitness back and get a few players back because we've had a lot of injuries at the moment. Okay, quarter-final draw for the Champions League. Now, I'm just looking at the teams that are left. It's going to be hard whoever we get. So Man United and Arsenal have drawn each other, so you can get all English ties. So Spurs could be an option, uh, but it's going to be Barcelona. Spurs get Madrid, and Juventus get PSG. Oh, God. Barcelona. Okay. Well worth noticing, Liverpool have not lost to Barcelona in the last two meetings between the sides. Uh, that could end when we face them, though. That's... Oh, it's Bar Barcelona. Okay, so with Robertson suspended, Lucas Digne will come in at left-back. Four-back attack. And we will move uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold to the bench. Blotti is available to play, but he's at 87%. So we are going to uh, start Firmino up top as complete forwards. And we are going to bring Asensio in Firmino's spot. Belotti will get a space on the bench. I think we'll go Belotti and Origi on the bench. I'm just going to go uh, Kaita instead of Wijnaldum, though. Okay, here we go. So Bravo, Walker, Company, Stones, Mendy, Tussar, Gunahan, Casemiro. Bernardo Silva, Sane, and of course Alexis, San Alexis Sanchez. Uh, did I do a team talk? I don't think I did a team talk. <laughs> that could be bad. If I haven't done a team talk, that's not good. Right, I'm going to do one now. I'm going to encourage. And hopefully we can score from this first highlight here. As it is headed away though by Sanchez. Now Lucas Digne to Milner. And now Naby Keita has played for Marco Asensio. <laughs> oh my god, that's the worst shot in the world. They've got a bit more of the ball city. But uh, they haven't actually had a shot yet in this game. Well, they might get one from this as a Bernardo Silva's on the right flank. The cross is in there and it's uh, away. Sane will chase it down though. And now can he put a cross in there? He can. And again, it's headed away. But this time only as far as Mendy. And Matip again clears it. We need to get rid of the danger here. And uh, Naby Keita, I've brought him in for Wijnaldum. And he's conceded a penalty. Now who's taking this? It's Bernardo Silva to take the penalty. And Mignolet with a fantastic save. Excellent stuff. Oh, Kaita could have been the villain there, but uh, Mignolet turning out to be the hero, so that's good. But City are, well, you'd probably say on top so far. We had a decent, well, we had a chance, and Asensio messed it up. Uh, but now Walker with a cross, and it's uh, it's in. Alexis Sanchez scores it, and, uh, well, we're losing. That doesn't happen very often. City looking for revenge from the 4-1 defeat at the start of the season. And uh, Sane heads it into the path of Sanchez. And that's 1-0. And Sane somehow found a way through. Mignolet with another save. Naby Keita to Milner. And Milner looking for Chamberlain. And he's found Chamberlain. That's a fabulous goal. Ox has been so good this season. And he's got another goal. That's num I don't know how many he's got. But he's, he's had such a good season. He's the reason Sadio Mane has been on the bench most of the time this season. And Milner with a fantastic ball, an amazing ball to Chamberlain, got away from Benjamin Mendy and found the goal 1-1. I'm going to passionately say keep going out there and you can still win this one. That's not really worked. So let's do some individual ones. I'm looking at you guys to make the difference. Everyone, it's an individual effort. Going to be a bit more expressive. Uh, going to use as much of the pitch as we can. And... Uh, we're going to get stuck in. I know I've got a couple of players on yellow, but I want to get stuck in. It might go to a replay. I don't really want it to, but it could go to a replay if it stays a draw. But if we're coming up on 55, 60 minutes, and we've got a couple of 6.4s in there, they might have to come off. So 
I think there might be a double change because they're having rough games. So Firmino's probably not had a lot of stuff to do up top. I'm making a double change. I'm really not happy with how these two are doing. So Firmino's going to drop back and Asensio's going to come off. Belotti's going to come on. And Salah's going to come on for uh, Pulisic as well. 55 minutes played. The changes haven't actually uh, come into effect yet. City do have a chance here though, but uh, they've given the ball away. And now Naby Keita... And that's a good ball to Chamberlain. Now, can Chamberlain use his pace to get forward? Can he create a cross? He can. It's gone in! Oh, my God. There's no way he meant that. There is absolutely no way. I, oh, that was a cross. But it ended up in the net. And we lead 2-1. From, from that. That's amazing. Let's. I want to see this again. Chamberlain looking for a cross for Firmino. And it ended up in the net. James Milner here, 69 minutes on the clock. Uh, there's a foul there by Ben Mendy, who's already on a yellow card. So City could be down to 10 here. This is going um, better every minute. Started off badly. City down to 10 men now. And Danilo's on. So a change in tactic by City, a forced changing tactic. Do we go for the kill or do we continue to sit back? I don't know. 72 minutes played at the moment. Salah's got the ball here though. This could be the killer blow. It is! Belotti makes it three off the bench. I said that he could score even with Knox and he's proved me right. 72 minutes. We now lead 3-1. FA Cup semi-final is looking good. Kaita to Digne and then Digne forward to Mohamed Salah who crosses the ball to Belotti. Number 44 for the season for Belotti. I don't want to upload that to YouTube. I'll upload the video but not just the goal. That would be a very short video. Ox is looking exhausted. So we're going to bring on Mane. 80, 86 minutes coming up. City playing a patient game here. Digne's... Uh, oh god, now Digne's going to get sent off. Right, Milner's going to move to left back. Oh, I can't make any more subs. <laughs> just ride this out. We should be okay. Three minutes left. City need two to get to a replay, so we should be okay. Although Herrera with a shot here. It's gone in. I think it was an own goal. It's a Joe Gomez own goal. And it took a huge deflection off of uh, the Herrera strike, which was from a long way out. And now we start to pan panic a bit. It's 10 versus 10. Herrera's shot took a huge deflection off Gomez. That's really unfortunate. But now we've got five minutes of injury time, and we, tr and we lead 3-2. Right, we've got to contain... Contain, structures, got to play safer. It's got to be now, City. If they're going to get an equaliser, it has to be now. Milner heads it away. Brilliant. Belotti. Just hold on to it. You've got 10 seconds. Just hold on to the ball. Just keep it. That's all you got to do. Walker. I think that's it now. Company's got the ball. And Mike Dean blows the whistle. Liverpool 3, Man City 2. We were behind. A missed penalty as well by Silva. Literally a minute before their first goal. That was nervous, but we managed to come out with a win. Wow. So it's Spurs, Liverpool, Man United and Arsenal. Two or well, four massive teams. Like, let's see who it's going to be at Wembley. We're the first team out of the hat. So we've got a one in three chance of getting whoever we get. And it's Tottenham. So Art and then Arsenal face Man United. So Spurs in the semi-final. And then if we get to the final, it'll be either Arsenal or or Manchester United. Okay, so next episode, we're going to play both legs of the uh, Champions League quarterfinal against Barcelona. So we'll play three off screen, and then I'll play Barcelona. Uh, I will play the Stoke game, but I won't be showing that live. That'll just be like um, goals, much like I do with off screen games. And then the second leg. So once again, next episode, it will be two games, and then I think immediately after that one, we'll do that FA Cup semi final in its own video. Uh, and then, assuming we get to semi-finals and finals, I'll show those. Uh, the league looks like it's won. We've only got eight games left, I think. So that should be no problem. But we've got to see if we can win the FA Cup again and win the Champions League. Haven't done it on YouTube. So I want to do it with a save. This squad is the best squad I've played with in years. Belotti is one of the best strikers I've ever had. 44 goals in all competitions. I'd love to win the Champions League with this squad because it absolutely deserves it. It's so good. But anyway, that's going to do it for today. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below, leave comments. And if you want to see videos as and when they turn up on YouTube, do hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you next episode where we've got the biggest obstacle of the save. Barcelona in the Champions League quarterfinals. It's going to be next episode. Can we dethrone Barca? Can we dispatch the likes of Messi, 
Luis Suarez making a return to Anfield. It's going to be huge. So hopefully you will join me for that. But for now, thank you for watching. I will see you soon. Goodbye.